Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be installing this charge point uh, level 2 charger here. We can take these covers off. That's where we're going to end up putting the wires in for this. It is a NEMA 650 so this should be a much simpler install than some of the other ones. They have three versions listed. A NEMA 650 which is the three prong like this, a 1450 which is the four prong, and then a hardwired version. So this one we only have to plug in this part. You have to wire and plug in these. Again, pretty easy. We'll go through that in a moment. But there's no hard wiring there. We already have an outlet that we're going to be plugging into. So we, all we need to do is just get this part situated, get it screwed up into the wall, uh, seal it, and then we should be good to go. Comes with this nice little kit here. Now if we take a look at, we have our different screws. It actually comes with that's falling into the box. Socket, drill bit, everything you need to get this installed onto the wall nicely. The only other things that we're going to go and add is we're going to add some silicone so that way it's waterproof. And then, of course, we're going to use a drill to put it in. So let's get started here. On mine here, I actually already had an old charger, which does work well. Uh, my electric provider, though, with smart chargers, is offering uh, a discount that's more than half off uh, for off-peak charging, but you have to have a smart charger with it. So that's the reason that I'm switching over to this charge point one. This is one of the ones that's approved for them. So we're going to go ahead and take this one off. Obviously, if this is your first time installing it, you wouldn't be taking it off. You would just be plugging into the outlet. If you need to know how to do an outlet, we'll have to do a video like that another time. We have our box here, so we're going to take it out and uh, swap out the plates that's screwed into the back wall and then get our wires situated. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is unplug it. This is not currently attached to anything, so there's not much of a draw in there. This is unplugged. We'll unscrew this bottom part here and this slides right up and off gotta take these off of here wrong size Sixteenths. These would normally sit on the back, screwed in there, and then right at the bottom there was that one screw at the bottom. Now we're going to take our charge point if you have not already this plate sits here this one sits here when it came in the packaging this was loose it wasn't snapped in or anything so it's just kind of resting there so you just take this piece off this piece here if you need to we do have the different screws so you just twist it to the unlock position this can then come off you notice we have these two holes down there and then there's another screw hole that we'll have up here that it'll sit on up at the top like that. And the others will come down into this part here. So this back piece is going to be sitting up against here. Again, with the one screw up top and the other two coming through here. We're going to go through and measure these first. So we'll get it into position, put little marks where these are going to go. Once we have those marks, we'll drill our pilot holes. Then we can get this into position, make sure we're good. Throw some silicone in the holes, put it up, screw it in through the silicone. So that way we have it all nice and sealed up pretty well. Let's get it measured up. Now 
And the way it's going to be sitting will be sitting on here like this with the cord plugged in. Now that means that our ground will be on the bottom or positive and negative on top. On here though, our ground is up and positive and negative down. So that's got to get flipped. So first thing we're going to want to do is go and shut off the breaker so that it cuts the power to this outlet. We will remove, sorry for the shadow, these four screws and flip this around so that way it's in an orientation that we can actually fit this in there. So once we get uh, that situated, let me go shut off the power and we can uh, take the cover off here. So we'll switch the angle here. We'll go through, get these unscrewed. They take little square heads, so we'll take those off and then we can take this cover off here. Already, grab a voltmeter or you have a tester there's a variety of different ones available but just make sure that your power is indeed actually off so as you're playing around with here again you should be fine but if you were to accidentally touch a wire or something you're not going to get fried <clears throat> so like i said i already checked this we're good but uh, always a best practice to not just trust the breaker but it doesn't hurt to double check. So as you can see here, we got this back up. Now we're going to take this guy, set him up right here next to it where we want it positioned, where the old one was. That was here beforehand. And then we're going to take this part here. This can fold around and plug right in to the outlet here. We'll get those one, two, and that third one up here measured, dot, dot, or excuse me, dot, and then dot, dot. Get that screwed into the, the side there with our caulk, of course, and Go from there. Okay, so easiest way to go through and do this. This hole doesn't matter too much, so you get it about where you want it. I want it to be there, so that's going to be right here is where that hole is. We'll get this hole in there. We can get the screw, let it sit on here. Then we'll get it straight up and down. Once it's straight up and down, we can get in the other screw, the other two screws, so that way these guys are lined up basically just off of wherever this one's hanging. Hang. So we'll get this one in there first. We have it marked, which is right there. We'll get our drill in here. We know that our power is coming here on this one and that charger over there, that outlet is coming from back there. So if you're not sure what I would definitely recommend doing, so I have a crawl space here, which is very annoying, but uh, it's still accessible. So. What you want to do is check underneath on the other side of this wall that you're putting these holes in so that way whatever wires you have running here wires there wires this whatever is on the back side of this wall here if you have hoses or pipes or whatever you're not drilling into a pipe or a hose or a wire or something like that so make sure you check the other side of the wall and find out what there is on the other side if you haven't done the other side of the wall I would highly suggest is taking a look and seeing what outlets or other things you've got going on on the wall here. Generally, they're going to run along studs vertically and then along um, the base where the, the sill plate is uh, horizontally. So sometimes it's on the outside like this, sometimes they're on the inside. Different areas do different things, but just make sure before you start drilling that you know what's on the other side there. them into the hole. Oh, that was messy. Push in. We actually want the caulk all 
going inside there. Get this. Screw in there pretty far. See how this is gonna hang. Slide this back off. are in. We're going to do the same thing. Pump these guys out of the silicone and actually while I got this out this is going to be sitting behind there but I don't want water and stuff getting into these old holes so we're going to pump these guys up too. Easy. So if you have softer siding like this you just want to push the siding up against the wood first. Squeeze and press the silicone in so that way it actually goes down into the hole that the wood itself is in. Then you can let the siding back off a little bit to kind of fill up some silicone behind the siding itself. Let's get this hung back up. Back into position. You want this to be tight. You don't want this thing wobbling around on the wall. But I also don't want it like crushing the siding all the way up against the side of the house. So, all right, that's nice and secure now. Now we can get resituated. We can take the end of the, the long cord that you're going to use to plug in the vehicle and get this attached into this box. So, let's get so, looking at the manual that it comes with, it actually is nice. It has these labels in here. So, depending on which version you have and how many amps it is, you can put the uh, appropriate sticker and just cut out that section. They are actually perforated so you can put those stickers right on your electric panel which is quite nice and have all the relevant information right there. Uh, you have in here when you go over to installing the charging cable spot it shows you just like I said so you have them green red and black which is in the same orientation green red black actually has this nice rubber thing this just plugs in here it's a very simple uh, plug and play sort. So this plug right here is going to go right into that spot and then these guys uh, green being ground, your red and black so your hot and your neutral, uh, green being ground and then your red and black. So you're gonna stick them in, snap it down just like these ones. So these ones already came snapped in, you don't have to do anything with that. But we'll get these guys snapped in. Green you can see on the left is good. You want them to be in this sort of orientation and it tells you uh, exactly how they should be so the part should be shoved all the way deep in there like that you don't want them with the edges of the wires exposed you want that entire thing should be all the way encapsulated inside each socket if you have them sticking out while unlikely it is certainly possible that you could have some arcing where electricity would jump there and cause bad things hopefully your circuit breaker would shut off but uh, that's how you start fires and stuff like that so we got to make sure that we have all these completely seated all the way in there covering all of the exposed metal wires again in that orientation green red black and then the other plug on the side there again we have the little plug here on the side we want to make sure that's off on the right we will feed our wires into the hole this is going to sit all the way up in there so that the way that is flush, we're then going to take our clip and snap that in. Make sure that that stays up high. Take each of these wires and put them into their holes respectively. Again, all the way up there. Take a look. The wire and the electric is all the way deeply seated inside each socket. We'll snap these down and this, uh, just twist this forward so the little snappy part locks right over that little tab there. So this, put this back. And then our tripod here. So that's clicked in. You can go through and snap each of those all the way down. Make sure they're flat and tight. What we're going to do is take our cover here, 
And this is going to sit with this little flat tab right in the bottom. We get this into position. It has a gasket around it, so there's a little bit of tension. And we're going to lock it into place. So that is all locked up. Then we have our cover. This can snap right over the outside. And this then will sit right in there like that. Back this up a little bit. It'll sit right in there like that. So that's better for people to see. Snap that all on. Plug it in. Now we just have to go through the process here of pairing and linking this, setting it up with our Wi-Fi. See it's going through its initial setup there. Got the flashing light so we can go through the settings and link it with our Wi-Fi. So we're charging now. It's blue. Take a look over at the car. Ooh. Very dark. See it's charging, so she's all good and works. <clears throat> well, I hope that was a helpful tutorial. Um, obviously, not everyone's going to have this sort of situation there. Some people may already have. Hopefully, you, if you have a plug set up, yours is already good to go. If you need to get a hardwired, that would be a different story. But that's how to set it up in a little bit of a, a long-winded way. Hope that was helpful. Take care.